This is the wood splitter we're going to be using. It was bought from Tractor Supply. Today we're going to be testing out the Tractor Supply wood splitter. Um, it's electric. It's an alternative to the gas or uh, doing it by hand. The reason why I chose to do an electric or log splitter is because uh, I'm totally off grid. So if I ever want to use it and I can't get gas for whatever reason, uh, I always have the electric to split the wood and in that case uh, be able to run the fireplace or uh, cook the food on the grill or whatever. This is the wood splitter we're going to be using. It was bought from Tractor Supply. I'm sure it's some kind of Chinese brand, but it has a 15 amp uh, electric motor on it and uh, it does pull 15 amps. Uh, I've had it, had it hooked up and it, it pulls pretty heavy. You know, there's a couple uh, features I like about this thing. One of them is that it's on uh, like a stand and uh, it's kind of up where you don't have to get down on your hands and knees on the ground to split the wood. I've seen a lot of other ones, they don't have the stand and uh, they're just down on the ground like the ones from Harbor Freight. I'm sure you can build your own stand or put it on a bench or something like that, but this is pretty convenient because it's also got the wheels on it where you can just roll it, you know. I got a wood pile here, one here, one here and there and i can just roll it to wherever i need to also i noticed that a lot of the other ones didn't come with like what this has like a plate uh, this will help like whenever you split the wood it doesn't just fall off on the ground like you know it'll it'll kind of hold your wood up on there for you where you can re-split it or you can split another piece or something like that so uh i really like this plate you'll see what i'm talking about okay so once you have the plate on like this um up underneath here there's this little uh knob uh, right here uh, it's let me go around to the other side you can see it a lot better it is up here and uh that opens up the hydraulic line and, and it lets it breathe so when the piston goes you know like in and out like that it'll it keeps it from like the pressure building up too high and exploding the piston or blowing out the seals or whatever so you always have to open that whenever you use it and they tell you need to close it whenever you're done so okay i hooked it to a pretty uh, heavy duty extension cord we're going to see if it'll if it'll uh, split the wood off of the solar system here so i'm going to run it on the dry test real quick and just see how it does uh, without a piece of wood Let's see what that does. Okay, well, it didn't like that initial start. It was kind of slow. Yeah, it seems like that's pretty hard on the solar system, uh, pretty hard on the inverter. Um, it's a 2,000 watt inverter with a 6,000 watt surge for 20 seconds. So uh, if you want to check that out, you can go to my uh, solar video where I tell about my solar system. Uh, I'm probably, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, generator. That's all you want to do is play catch. You sure what you sure love that ball, don't you? Get your ball. Get your ball. Get it. Come here, I'll throw it for you. Drop it. Ready? Get, get him on.
so i mean honestly uh my honest review about this thing is it does really good it makes it really easy um i mean you can see how much wood i just split up like really fast um it literally took me about uh eight minutes or something like that to split that much wood maybe less maybe five minutes but uh i like it because i don't like swinging the axe to be honest with you um what i don't like about it is that it's going to take more than uh, uh my inverter that's in my solar system and and that that's a very powerful inverter but this thing really does pull heavy you know especially on the initial startup it pulls really heavy so that's the only downfall i see to it it does have a, a built-in capacitor on it already so uh you know it's just unfortunately it pulls real heavy from the start it's a big motor um 15 amp motor i and I, like i said i don't know what the peak pull is on it i could actually hook the uh uh the watt and amp meter up to it and kind of see but you know i just i didn't do that today okay so i got it moved over here to the solar inverter and uh i'm gonna hook it directly into the back of the inverter which will basically bypass the long lines that go out and go underground and go all the way to the house and then come out of the plugs you know through the through the breaker panel and out the plugs and then back into the extension cord and back outside you know to the uh wood splitter so i'm going to basically plug it in here directly onto the back of it here so i can get to it here a little tight up in here but okay okay all right so i plugged in right to the back of the inverter you know like i was telling you uh this is a uh 48 volt uh this thing is large this thing weighs about 60 pounds um, it's a 48 volt, uh, uh, 2000 watt inverter, but, uh, it has a 6,000 watt, uh, surge for 20 seconds. So it's made to really push some serious power and get some things kicked off. Kind of like this thing, but, uh, from that long distance there, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it was sounding and how long it was taking. So let's see what it does right here plug directly into it now it'll do it it'll definitely do it it's just uh do you want to push your verter that hard you know uh that's the only thing i'm you know concerned about is pushing the inverter too hard i don't want to blow it out i mean it's a thousand dollar inverter or I'm going to go get a couple logs and uh, split them uh, directly off the inverter here and uh, we'll see how that works. So I guess that's one way to look at it is, hey, the power of the sun is actually splitting this wood for us. Amongst many other things it's doing for us.